Zach, and welcome back to the shop. I look very, very purple right now. Are you kidding me? Blue hoses? Holy cow! Alright, so today I'm actually just going to show you how easy it is to uh, flush out the water in your liquid cooled spindle. I know there's uh, a few different ways of doing this. I'm just going to show you the way that I do it. And uh, again, it's super simple. So let me just show you real quick. And then after that, we'll take it a step farther. All right, to make this really easy for yourself, you're actually want, you're gonna, son of a 12 millimeter uh, wrench, total boat cup. It's very important that's total boat. Something for the, uh, the cup to stand on, extra uh, piece of hose. And you'll see why that comes in handy very shortly. What I'm gonna do now is actually remove the left hand side of the spindle and we're gonna attach this hose to that. All right, so all I did here was we connected that hose to the left hand side. Um, we brought the hose that we disconnected out. You can see here it's connected with a clamp and the hose and the other one goes all the way to the bottom. Now what we want to do is actually fill this up with, um, if you want some type of antifreeze or um, I'm just going to use distilled water or actually 11.5 pH water. If you know what that is, leave a uh, comment down below. <laughs> but uh, I have a machine that creates 11.5 uh, pH water, so that's what I'm going to use. Um, so let's go ahead and fill this up now, and then we can start on the next part. All right, so there you go. So it's what's important is that this uh, black hose, in my case, is underwater, and this outlet of the left hose that you left is just pouring right back into here. And that's it. that's all there is to it. So all we can do now is actually turn on the spindle, which will turn on the pump. And if the pump is on, then we can, uh, you'll see it all flow through. So let's go ahead and do that now. And if you're curious, uh, the reservoir is actually behind here on the back side. All, right, all you need is three screws and you can take that off and kind of see what's happening in the reservoir. Somehow or another you end up uh, running it dry. Um, you can just loosen up the screw here and you can pour in water directly into the reservoir. Um, and that's this is just a little cap. It's not going to spray or anything if you unhook that. But uh, you can see here I actually got water in there and it's just uh, it's just flowing through. And that's all, honestly that's all there is to it. Like I said, that's actually super simple, um, but I'm gonna take it a step farther and I wanna replace the hoses all together. So let me go ahead and do that now. But if you don't wanna replace the hoses and you don't need to, then that's all you have to do and you're good to go. Now I'm replacing mine with some blue hose, eight by five millimeter um, hose which I believe is five millimeter on the inside, eight millimeter on the outside. And all I'm gonna do is I, I'm gonna take the hose that I disconnected and I, I on purposely only disconnected one at a time so that I know how to put them back together. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, hopefully that's a really cool way to kind of give your CNC a little bit of personality. Uh, I will leave uh, the link down below, uh, the hose that I use. And yes, it's an Amazon affiliate link. By clicking it, it does help me directly. So don't be afraid to use it. I, hey, I know who you are. <laughs> um, nonetheless, uh, hopefully you enjoy that, guys. Uh, like, again, super easy way to give your CNC some personality. And... Um, yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.